Like me, if you're not keen on drying your clothes out in the balcony, then a dryer is a must in your house. Is an integrated washer dryer better? Or are separate washer and separate dryer appliances better in your house? Let's take a look at that in today's video. This is part three of a series that I'm doing on the washing machine purchase process. If you would like to see parts one and two, which compare one, a top load and a front load washing machine, as well as second, what size of washing machine you require, I've linked to those in the description, do take a look at it. So let's take a look at some of the aspects of integrated washer dryer as compared to a separate washer and dryer machine. The first is, are integrated washer dryers as good as a separate washer and dryer equipment? The answer is yes and no. If you look at an integrated washer dryer, typically a manufacturer will list a washing capacity and a drying capacity. If you're loading your washing machine only up to the drying capacity, that would mean that you will be able to expect closet dry or cupboard dry as the manufacturers call it. However, if you overload it or you load it up to the washing capacity and expect a full drying to happen, that will not happen. So that is a consideration that you need to keep in mind when you are purchasing a washer dryer integrated equipment you need to purchase a washer dryer which is the right size for your family as per the drying capacity. The other thing that I have heard but I have not been able to validate yet is that an integrated washer dryer crumples the clothes a lot more than a separate dryer equipment. In my opinion that is primarily because the washer dryer has been overloaded more than the drying capacity not giving enough space for the clothes to breathe as a result of which your drying performance is completely reduced and your clothes get a lot more crumpled. If you have an experience with this, drop me a co comment. I'd like to know that as well. Primarily because I'm considering purchasing a washer dryer in the near future. Now, if you're interested to understand what is the right size of the washer dryer that you need to purchase, take a look at the part two of my series, which talks about what size of washing machine you need to purchase for your family size and your usage requirements. The second criteria is the amount of space that it takes. Now, an integrated washer dryer will take as much space as a washing machine would take, which is about 60 centimeters width by 60 centimeter depth by about 85 centimeter in height. When you take a separate washer and dryer, it needs double the amount of space. Now, if you have the space, then you might want to consider purchasing that. But like me, if you don't have the space, then you may need to consider a single integrated washer dryer. One other thing I'd like to highlight is that a dryer can be mounted on top of the washer as well, especially when you purchase a front load washing machine. If that can be done in your space, then you might want to also consider a separate washer and dryer equipment. The third criteria is the price. An integrated washer dryer is about two thirds the price of a separate washer and a separate dryer. For example, if I take a look at the IFB appliance, the five and a half kg dryer plus the 7 kg washer costs about 19 and 27,000 respectively. In comparison, for the same capacity of 7 kg washing and 5 kg drying, a Samsung integrated washer dryer costs about 37,000. So about two thirds the price. So as you can see, it is a lot cheaper. The third criteria is the amount of time taken. An integrated washer dryer takes about three and a half hours for a full cycle to run. That is full washing and drying cycle to run. As compared to a separate washer and dryer appliance, each will take about one hour, so in total about two hours. But you do need to shift your clothes from the washer to the dryer after the washing cycle is complete. Also remember that an integrated washer dryer will also have a shorter cycle of about one hour for a smaller load so let's say you want to wash just about four to five clothes you can use the integrated washer dryer the short cycle of one hour to achieve both washing and drying for that set of clothes the next criteria is energy consumption integrated washer dryers take a lot more energy or power than a, a separate washer and dryer device as you can see on the screen an integrated washer dryer of about seven kg five kg uh, combination will take about five and a half kilowatt hour of power as compared to that uh, a separate washer and dryer will take about three and a half kilowatt hour. The next aspect is convenience. 
In a separate washer and dryer, you do need to move your clothes from the washer to the dryer after the washing cycle is complete. Whereas in an integrated washer dryer, you don't need to do that. You can put it and forget it till the cycle is complete. If you're like me, I normally put my clothes for wash at night, just before I sleep. I use a timer and time it to around the time that I would be waking up so that the wash clothes don't stay in the washing machine for too long. So then three and a half hours is not really big of a concern because for me, convenience is of more importance. Like I've mentioned in many of my videos before, what is good for one person may be different from what is good for another person. For some people, a budget might be a criteria. For some people, brand may be a criteria. For some people, space may be a criteria and so on, right? In this case, my criteria are one, space the second is convenience right i don't want the hassle of moving clothes from one to the other and i do not have enough space in my utility to actually have both appliances yes i can mount a dryer on top of my washing machine i do have that space but what it would do is it would cut off the sunlight into my kitchen which i don't want so my point of view is that I will go for a single integrated washer dryer appliance. In my next video, I will be doing a comparison between various different washer dryers to help decide which one is best for your requirement. I hope this was useful. If you do plan to purchase a washer dryer, whether an integrated one or a separate washer dryer, drop me a comment and let's have a chat over there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.